Today. <laughs> hello everyone. Today say hello. Hello. <laughs> Today we are gonna cook the most Russian dish, which is borscht. And honestly, this is my very first time making this dish. This is soup, and we're gonna show you how to make it. And hopefully, it's gonna taste good. We have this much meat. What are you doing? <laughs> you can speak English, okay? I can't speak English. And here we got beef breast, but you can use any type of meat. Good job! And this is gold tea. The borscht is a red soup. It's red because of the beets. So now shred the beets. And you fix your makeup. That's good blush now. So you blend it and you get perfect blush. Now we shall shred the beads. First of all, what do we need for this soup? We need beef, which is already boiling. We need cabbage, then beets, shredded beets, carrots, then onion and I want to also add the spicy green pepper and potatoes. Damp the first broth. So now I let my brother cut the onions, so three pieces in cubes. You're welcome. And now I'm gonna cut potatoes. Нормально так? Ты жарить его будешь? Кубиками. <coughs> Еще надо, да? Да. Ну не надо, так. This is my first time making borscht because I didn't really eat meat before. Have you ever made borscht? Hmm? No. <laughs> no? Me neither! <laughs> now we make it. Do you like borscht? Yeah. Yeah. Our mom usually makes borscht with chicken, with the whole chicken. But since we're showing you the traditional recipe, it's gonna be with beef. But you can put any kind of meat there, but not fish. So we put some sunflower oil on the pan and we heat it up. And then first we fry onion, then we fry carrots, and then we add beets. Yeah. So at first I thought I'm gonna follow a recipe which I found on the internet. But now I realize that I'm not following any recipe. I'm just following my Russian intuition, given that I've never made this dish before. And every Russian woman has her own recipe, and it's never the same. So we'll see how it's gonna work for me. So you put onion and fry it until gold. Golden. Then you do the ritual dancing. And here you can watch me suffering from onion, which, which was killing me. So now we are frying onion and then we add carrots and fry it more. After we damp the first water, we add new water and boil it for one hour and a half, so the meat is soft and nice. When you see that carrots and onions are kind of ready, we add beets. Come on! You stir it, you stir it, stir it, and then you cut the cabbage. I don't know how much cabbage to take, I just did it how I felt. And then you eat it and it's nice. Now we squeeze some lemon on top of our fried stuff. Now we add some ajika. Ajika is kind of a salsa. So, you see? In the traditional recipe you add tomato paste, but I've decided to add ajika or salsa. 
Summing it up, here we have three onions, one carrot, two little bits, and one spicy green pepper and ajika. Then we gonna wait when the meat is ready. So, and then we gonna put their potatoes, potatoes and cabbage, and then this wonderful stir fry. We shall take meat out and cut it in pieces, then put it back after we cut it. I cut it in pieces, oh! <laughs> okay, now we add cabbage and potatoes inside the... <laughs> Oops. And then in a couple minutes you add potatoes and then in five minutes you add your stir fry i know all these ingredients together sound crazy but believe me trust me it's delish even though i haven't tried what i i'm making right now but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be good like a typical man my brother said what a hell i signed up for this cooking i don't want to do this anymore and he left Whatever. So it's gonna be my artistry. This lamb is really good. Mentos. Mentos, if you wanna, you can sponsor me <laughs> with my 15 subscribers. I'm not sure if it smells like Bosch right now, but we'll see what we're gonna get in the end. And we're gonna see if it tastes like Bosch. All the proportions and ingredients and instructions I'm gonna leave below in the description box because I think you're kinda lost now because I'm just doing everything as I feel it. I'm glad I finally tried to make this famous Russian soup which I've never done before. And Russia is believed that every girl has to know how to make it. So now I know. I'm gonna add some parsley or any greens, fresh or dried, I'm gonna add dried parsley then black pepper but I feel like it's already crazy spicy because I added there like salsa and spicy green pepper but whatever <coughs> I breathe it in <coughs> and we're gonna add dried garlic dried because i don't want to deal with that fresh garlic it's totally not traditional i'm just experimenting now you're gonna see magic we're gonna add the red stir fry and the whole pot is gonna turn red like blood okay one two Go! Oh. You see? You see? Now it's red! But it has to cook a little bit more. So, we cook it more. And you see it's pretty dense, but it's still a soup. <coughs> That's pepper! Usually it's believed that the second day borscht is the best so you have to cook it leave it like overnight and the next day it's gonna be perfecto Now it's time. It's time to try it. It's a little bit scary I mean I have to fix for salt and pepper maybe and a little bit more of salt It smells right. Oh my gosh, it does smell like borscht Actually, like it. We need a little bit more salt, and it's gonna be great. Okay, after you've done it all, leave it like for for ten more minutes on the low heat. Then turn it off and enjoy. That's it, and I hope you had some fun. And probably you'll try to make it. If you try to make it, let me know. Maybe send me a picture on Instagram of your borscht.
so I see it and I'll definitely repost it. Yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon. Fuck, I'm so tired. You see there is like a golden layer on top. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>